Hello everybody and welcome back to the streak. We are jumping in again for our penultimate, well, I say penultimate, the, the, the win. The win that tips the scales. And we got a Zazel as well, which is not a particularly hard guy to play as, but I don't know. I have lost some Azazel runs before that you'd think maybe no one could lose. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But good to get a Zazel with a thicker B Brims mod going on. I actually think a Zazel is... He's got some real style to him now. I like it. Get rid of that guy. Just, just, just play slow. Play slow. This is a win that we need. I mean, getting the Onk really gives us some safety here. Really gives us some, some pretty good safety. So that alleviates some concerns already. It's obviously not a good item in terms of the run. But in terms of... Staying alive and keeping the streak alive, it's pretty decent. Um, it also means that, for some reason, if we decide we don't want to be a Zazel anymore, we could just trade <laughs> for a Blue Baby. Although, Blue Baby isn't exactly the better of the two, I wouldn't say. <laughs> Got some decent stuff off the bat here. No bombs as of yet, though. I'm kind of hoping for some bombs. Early floor, you always want bombs over anything else, so you can find secret rooms and stuff. Not a penny. I did not want just a penny, thank you. Early, early floor sack rooms always a bit disappointing. Unless you're playing as, like, Maggie. Interesting room here. Full of quite a lot of stuff. Try and take out these first. We've got a key over there and a red chest over the other side. Wow, we've got a lot of keys this time around. A lot and a lot of keys. Ah, oh, okay. Doesn't matter. I, I thought that'd be free. Gamble. Gamble. Soul Heart in here, maybe? Yes. And then I'll gamble on the other pill as well, considering we've already gambled on those two. Why not? Unfortunately, one of them was a speed down, which isn't ideal. We're hoping for range ups. Ugh. We got our speed back, but we unfortunately got a range down, which exactly the opposite of what I was hoping for there. Did get hit there. The range down is really not what we want to see, but we will get a range up from this boss here. Because you just know I will. What did I say, boy? Amazing. Okay. Not exactly, obviously, the range we should be at. We should be at, like, seven now, but... Eh. Should we take it on the mother trip? Let's let's let, let's let's go and have a little look at how, how uh, the mother path is going. We might not go the full mother route. Um, I'm just going to take a little peek -a Oh, that range feels so much better. So much better. Right, we might not take the full route here, but I think we owe it to this episode and th the power of this character to at least give this a, set, uh, a little look. You really had to fire one of them out, didn't you? You had to just dribble one of those little turdlings on my leg. We've got Toy Piano there. I think I'm going to take random here. Furton. Intriguing. I don't think Photon does anything for us other than giving us a fire rate and a damage increase, which is not bad at all, but the the real core of Photon doesn't actually activate for us here, which is a shame. There is a mod that makes it so that Brimstone tick rate is based on shot speed, so it would be good for that, but we do not have that on. Got the shop there, don't think we need that. Look for half soul hearts and those poops, maybe. Ooh, that was kind of close. They they almost wiggled their way into me. I'm really liking having this extra range right now. I feel so much safer. And then we got error room teleportation. That's kind of nice. And then we've seen our item room. Yeah, we, we've pretty much seen everything we need to see here. Unfortunately, we did get Buster, which I'm not a big fan of this boss because he can do some wacky stuff, but He's not as bad as some of the other Fiendfolio bosses, I'll certainly say that. That's one of the things I don't like about him. He's uh, He's got some speed to him. Luckily, he's not dealing full heart damage, though, so we're okay on that front. But a bit of unfortunate damage there that I probably shouldn't have taken. I might stick around on this floor for a little longer and try and explore. Foul Gut is very good for us here. Uh, Devil Deal, I don't think I'm going to go for. I think I'd rather do Angel Deal. Have I done a question of the day on this episode? Um, question of the day for today is, what's something, hmm, what's a gaming achievement that you've gotten recently? What's, what's something in gaming that you've achieved recently? Like, whether it be like 100% for a game, 
or just just something that you've done that you thought was cool even if it's just personally cool to you and it's not it maybe isn't the biggest thing like what's just something that you've been excited about that you managed to do in gaming recently for me it'll be after today beating my streak if we uh, if we manage to get that far which i'm hoping we do i'm hoping we do um i think we can go error room now but i'm just going to go and check i don't want to get the wrong end of the stick and use it in error very good stuff here what does the bag tissue do again all pickups in the room are destroyed, and eight of the most valuable pickups form an item. Ah, okay, so this isn't going to be eight. It's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not going to be eight. I guess I'll take the bag tissue just in case. But them two hearts are very, very good. They give us a lot and a lot of protection. The error room there being quite valuable. Quite valuable indeed. Oh, God. I lost one of those hearts immediately due to not realising that that room had the underwater guys there popping up. Very stupid of me. But I still got one of them. One's enough. Two's better, but one's enough. Ooh, intriguing. Intriguing. So, I think we, we take rune bag, definitely. Rune bag's very good. And then I think we take the spin down is better. Although I think the um, thingy, what's it called? Soul of Eden is very good. It just doesn't have the potential that the spin down does. The spin down is more guaranteed and it has it has that potential to it. Lovely stuff. Check what's going on here. Grants a blackout on use damage taken is doubled. It's risky, but it's very good for HP. But if I can't drop it, it causes us problems later in the game. I think I'm going to take it. Mainly, main reason I'm thinking of taking it right now is because we've got this heart. One second. Okay, we are back and going. Oh, God. Oh, oh. I didn't have my hands on the keyboard. <laughs> it was a troll bomb. I shat myself then. Oh, uh, fucking hell. But yeah, uh, because we've got this heart, I think this book isn't that big of a risk. And also, like, as long as you don't get hit that often, it's great. Because it just means all your hits are black heart hits. So it's, it's pretty good. It, the, the only, like, big risk of it is if you're still holding on to it once you get to the womb. Then it becomes potential trouble. If you're still holding on to it into the womb, then you take a lot more damage, obviously. And at that point, it becomes a real risk. But we're about to get Sacred Heart here from our spin down, so don't worry about that. We got good old, good old Mr. Uh, Mr. Pincers. Oh god. Oh, what the f I, I got like double hit by him then. Uh, because those hearts have no iframes. I always forget about that. So that heart's gone now, unfortunately, which really wasn't hoping it'd be gone so soon, but it is. Okay, he's doing his little tail thing now. I do like having flight on this because it means that I don't have to worry about where he pops his tail up. That was a, a very weird tail segment there. He didn't do that for very long at all. There you go. Um, oh, I was very confused what was happening then. Holy shit, okay. That's not a boss item. I have no idea why that's shown up in here, but that is a incredible item that we've seen a few times before but that's not a boss item regularly so i don't know why that showed up there unless it is and it's just incredibly rare and i've just never seen it before but i don't think it's a boss item right anyhow um uh, can we spin down either of these into anything good deck of cards and i don't know what that is actually unsure right i think we're good to go uh are we gonna do mother No, but I am going to do mines. I'm not going to do mother, but I am going to do mines. I want the choice of items just in case. Uh, I'm intrigued by going down to mines because it's just a cool floor. But I just think mother as Azazel with low range is potentially pretty horrible, especially if we end up having to keep this book. Likely, this book will be gone very shortly and we'll find another active. But 
there's the off chance that we don't and we're stuck with it. And in that case, I'd feel very, very, very unjazzed about firing Mother with this range. Very unjazzed indeed. That was really weird. I, I looked at my uh, my recording and the time was at exactly 10 minutes. We need to go deeper. So that, there's our active item if we want to get rid. And we've also got a lot of money off the back of that. Another reason to go to this floor. I didn't actually take a look at what we need to go as deeper spins down into. It could be something good. Let's go take a little, a little cheeky look at that, shall we? Spin down to the nail. The nail's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good active. Wouldn't mind it. Wouldn't mind it. But yeah, we've, we've got um, Chimerism, Kerimerism a little late in the game here. Oh, dude, the money right now is uh, absolutely rolling in. Magician, I think I'll take for... Uh, uh, no, I'm going to take it for the boss, but if I get an angel deal, I, I might want to use the spin down in it. So let's just do this now. Real Realistically, I only wanted the... Um, the Magician, if it was going to end up being Thingy anyways. What's it called? Uh, the Gideon. Otherwise, I don't really care. Decent item. Spins down into a pretty good item. Um, doesn't spin down into anything amazing. It's not ideal. I'm going to leave that as is. Hmm. I'm going to just take this. This It does spin down into a pretty good item, but I think <clears throat> I'm better off with it as is. Yeah, I can really feel myself losing my voice quite a bit, actually. <laughs> I'll be glad to uh, to have a week off of recording for a little while. It'll be nice. Even though I like misplaying the game. Lovely. I'm going to quickly just check in here and see what's what. Nothing much, nothing much. Freebies there. 69 pennies. Ooh, we got an extra spin down. So now I'm a bit, a bit annoyed about taking the thingy. Spawn two burn hearts. It does spawn them, not use them. So I guess I'll just pop it. But we've got double spin down right now. Which I think means... Let's, let, let's play out the floor a little bit first. Dude, we got another one of these. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Check in here real quick. We got five room in here. No, four room. All pedestals. So I think we pop in here, see what's what. Well, there's one spin down. Lovely stuff. Oh, the other one spin down into Incubus, but there's one spin down, and that's good. <clears throat> and I think the other spin down, we probably go for the nail, to be honest. Although I will check in here first. Uh, let me go grab the other spin down real quick. Wherever it was, wherever it was. Where, where did I bomb into here from? Was it here? Yeah, there you go, it was here. Grab this real quick. I'm, at the minute, I'm interested in the nail. I think the nail could be fun. But, I want to check the shop out first and see if there's an, an, anything better. Clicker? No, I don't think that's better. And Burger Bombs, I don't think that's better either. Okay, so I think I think the play here is we go grab the nail. Spin that down, grab the nail. And we come back over and re-roll that with the dice room, as well as the shop item, see if we get anything better. Actually, do you know what? I think I might buy starter deck first. It's half price. But then we come in here. Burn orbitals, why not? Jar of flies. Get this sack open for a bomb. Ah, oh, you bastard. Meccano. Why is Meccano so laggy? 
I was hoping for another bomb so I could get this open, but I think I'm going to get that from my uh, boss, my mob trap room over here. Yeah, there you go, baby. Yeah, we're sitting pretty now. We're absolutely sitting pretty. In fact, I probably could do mother at this point. But we've, uh, we've turned away from that path, so to say, for now. <clears throat> Bunch of extra bombs there. Bomb that. Ooh, another one. One second. We are back. Okay, let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. We've kind of got some momentum now. We've kind of got some speed. We've built up what is a pretty goddamn good run. Um, ooh. Ooh, hello. Where did you come from? Oh, uh, that was... Yeah, I remember now. I was, I've been on the phone for a while. I forgot what I was doing. Um, ooh, hello. Also, good card there. Right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. I think we're in a good spot. I don't think we forgot anything this floor. I think we're just ready to keep on rolling, really, aren't we? And yeah, now we've got a uh, like a, a way of regenerating HP that's a bit safer. Can we uh, can we pop this? Yes, we can. There you go, blood puppy. I reroll. Ah, unfortunate reroll. I'm sorry, blood puppy. I love you, but it was not the day. Ooh, booster box is very good. Chance to proc cards on kill. It can be rather nice. Some of a porky ally, I'm okay, thank you. The lovers. Judgment. Just two cards popped straight away there already, look. All sorts of good stuff going on here. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. You watch, I'm gonna get like an error room teleport randomly. Gonna screw my run. It's alright though, it's okay. We'll be fine. I was like, we've not seen any runes yet, have we? But we've actually seen quite a few runes so far from my rune bag. I'm just not thinking about them. That some of the porky ally was probably a rune bag one. But yeah, in a position now where we kind of just speed along. We've got very high damage, good speed, all all the makings of a beautiful Azazel run. Very good range as well, actually. Very good range. Probably should go back and grab some of that stuff. That was unnecessary to leave it behind. Solium of Golium. Three Golem Trinkets. As well, two random pill effects after beating a boss. Spawn a blue fly each new room. Chance to not destroy a rock upon crushing. Okay, doesn't really do much for us. I guess we'll go with that. Okay. How am I not taking damage here? Is it my burn orbitals? Bit of justice there, lovely. Get that half heart back. Yeah, having some health regen that's safer is really, really nice here. I'm very happy to have that. Good old Singe, I love this boss. Such a stylistic boss. With some unique room mechanics, which is pretty cool. You just take some pretty dumb damage to him, but oh well. Lovely stuff. And we get ourselves Gummy Bear. Dude, Gummy Bears, we haven't seen it ever. This is the second time it's shown up so recently. Um, a pretty interesting item, and I'm surprised it's in the boss pool. But I think my uh, I think my item pools are a bit messed up at the moment, to be honest. I don't know what's going on with them, but that's the second item I've seen that I felt shouldn't be in. Dude, that's an amazing card to pop off of a kill. That's an amazing card to pop off the back of a kill. Wow. That's kind of crazy. I think the more cards we have available to us, the better this item becomes. Smelt a random trinket, could be terrible, but oh my god, it was fucking cancer. <laughs> Literally of all the trinkets, it gives me fucking cancer, Are you kidding me? Randomly smelted trinket. Randomly smelted cancer. Beautiful, baby. Magician. I'm playing very fast and loose at the minute. Very fast and loose. Blood bombs is fine. Has anyone actually ever used the blood bomb part of blood bombs rather than just the, having the bloody bomb creep and the HP up? Has anyone actually ever used the um, the aspects of it that makes you uh, be able to use bombs, HP for bombs when you've got no bombs left? I've literally never done it before. Oh, we got mom's knife there. 
I think I prepared my brimstone, to be honest. Cool. Don't want any of that, thank you. Ooh, very good trinket. Thank you, thank you. Very good trinket. Right, we're kind of beelining it now, to be honest. We've we've got the recipe su su to success. We've had some good spin downs. We've had some good fun. We've built up a a livelihood for ourselves here. Unfortunately, as as shown there, some of the teleport cards from other mods are still in this, which is annoying. Basically, this um, booster box, very very good item there. Booster Box does actually make it so that most teleport cards can't be activated by it, um, I think. But apparently it doesn't work for modded ones. M maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it can just activate them. That's a bit unfortunate. But I think it... I think Mum is still dead. No, she's not. Really? Literally heard her die. Dude, the range we have right now is obscene. Plus 10 range on Azazel is lovely. She's dead that time. Quickly check this out, make sure there's anything absolutely insane. Nah. Nothing insane there. We go. Oh, I should have picked up that half soul heart. My bad. My bad. Right, now we just gotta hope we go the right way. But yes, I, I will be very much rushing through the last segment of all of this, because I can. I have I have a run that allows me to rush pretty heavily. Some lovers going on there. I am able to rush, so why not rush? Degas. Guess I'll keep it a gas for later down the line. Don't know if I'll need it, but it's there. Oh. My god. It's, it's, it's a it's a victory lap sort of run, this is. It's a victory lap sort of run. Bit of look foot, nice. We like him, we like him. Oh, that was a bloody on hit effect one, I didn't actually realise. It's okay, vengeful spirit's fine. Vengeful spirit's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. I want to go through there. Through here, maybe? Yes. Ooh, interesting room. It, then automatically activating is kind of an interesting take on that. More tears up there. Dude, our tears are schmacking right now. Ooh, soul of Azazel, baby. I'll pop a de gas, why not? Soul of uh, Azazel, soul of Eden. Soul of Eden is, is very nice. Did I see a tinted rock back in this room? Yes, I did. Looking for small rock, realistically. Right. What up, Mama? Mama! Ooh. Beautiful. Ooh, a bunch of extra damage there as well. And we got... Not a whole lot of great stuff in here. This is a weird gamble, but I'm going to Soul of Eden all of this and see what we get. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> you fucking booster pack, bitch. It's such a good item, but it can be so evil. It can be so mischievous. You can't give me a goddamn boss teleport while I'm doing regular rooms. But the moment it comes to a room I do not want to teleport out of... Here's your boss teleport. I'd love a boss teleport right now. Boss teleport right now would be amazing. But you're not going to give me one, are you? Oh. See? Now this is bad. Because ne it's it's kind of bad. It's it's a it's a very much false victory. It's a very much false victory. Cuz 
I told you we were going to get an arrow room teleport. Now we have the wrong the wrong thing. Okay, ju just to just to make up for it, I'm going to go give um Negative. Remove. Just to make it so that we have the right one and can do the full run. I feel like it'd be a bit cheaty to end the run without doing the boss for my for my 39th win, wouldn't it? I want to be on the up and up here. I don't want to be doing cheesy stuff. So therefore, I shall carry on forward down this path, even though it's not what I intended. Brimstone ghost, no thank you. Ooh, these guys are fast. Golden bombs there is interesting. Bit of hero font there, lovely. Wasn't expected, but kind of a nice addition. Ooh, Grotto Beast, whatever he's called, is a little sketchy. Oh, we got a Vengeful Spirit. I kind of forgot about that. Can that guy deflect my brimstones? I felt like he was deflecting my brimstones there. Oh, dude, the thick brimstones look so nice. What card was that? Mom's Knife for the room. Probably does more damage. I don't know. That's the boss. Why did that have a boss bar? It's like a little midgy. These cards, I think these cards are a bit too common, you know. Do you know what? I'd rather take that. I think these cards are a bit too common, you know. The um, community remix ones. They're very, very strong for what they are. And they show up quite a lot. Right. Quick little jaunt back over this way. No health left behind. Look at this. There's just so many of them, and they're so strong. Oh, look. More range. Um, not a big fan of this, as, a, as it goes. I wasn't a big fan of that. Not all of them? No, it's not. Probably should have saved the nail for the boss here, but I want to get a jump start on the charges. I can fire across the goddamn half of the room. Alrighty ho. Got a lot of vengeful spirits on our side as well, which is kind of nice. We have 22 luck now. You know what it's like. 31 damage, 22 luck. Not not, uh, not an overpowered item at all. Twenty-six look now. Ain't nothing to it, baby. Right. Do we want to take anything here? Do we want to reroll anything? Sinister. Oh, there's some good stuff here. There's some good stuff. Sinister sight. Gain herming tears. Very nice. Honestly, gamble all the way, and then soul of Eden on both of those. HP for HP, baby. Right. Don't even need the herming, baby. Don't even need the herming. Victory Royale. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What a beautiful run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.